So, is it the time to reclose yourself and go to short, or is the best time to go long? So, in today's episode, let me break down all of these important questions. I'm gonna use my conditions. So, this video will be very useful for each one of you. Stay, stay tuned, watch this video till the end, subscribe to the channel, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the charts right now and let's talk about Bitcoin. So, basically, right now, a lot of people might question themselves what is happening? Mm what we need to expect from the Bitcoin and what is the best moves to do. So to be much more specific, let me straightly go to the conditions, what we are seeing from the bottom, I mean, from the local scenario to the global scenario, right? So uh, basically, locally, we are seeing something such kind of, and this scenario didn't go wrong. We have some kind of impulse after we have correction, and we are expecting this major impulse. Uh, we can say even not this impulse, we can say like to towards that one, right? Like, I mean, some kind of higher range of this channel at least, and then we can talk about something more higher. So there's like two kind of scenario, but at least we need to retest the higher range of this channel. So we didn't go to that high, we, actually we can put this line like this, right? But it's, it's pretty, ugly. So from technical perspective, still we didn't retest the higher range and the minimum levels uh, didn't work out. But most of you know that I already closed my sh uh, long positions over there, right? Because trading is something what you always need to keep in mind because especially when you're trading with Bitcoin, Bitcoin is very manipulative and you need to expect basically everything from the market. So this is why I closed some position, um, half a position. In another position, I'm going to close it as we will go higher. I'm not even going to close it at here. So basically my stop loss at the entry point where uh, in my Telegram channel, I shared all my stop losses, take profits, everything. The link in the description below, join, don't forget. Uh, basically it's all for free. So, uh, and one more thing what I want to mention that's, and I don't want to forget some things to say. Uh, I'm planning to make really cool tournament on the Binks. So from the Monday, it's going to be really very interesting for each one of you, just the my community. There's uh, the rewards will, uh, rewards will be distributed um, in our community. So this is pre pretty, not a big community, you know, and most likely most of you can get um, the reward. So this is why join our Telegram channel. I will announce all the requirements to join our tel uh, I mean our uh, tournament on the Binks. So right now let's go and let's come back what we are seeing. Uh, we have impulse. That's true. Look at that. Here you have an impulse, right? And after we having some kind of correction. And to be more specific, we need to deep dive a little bit on the local scenario and talk about what is happening over here. Because basically uh, here, as we had this bounce, here I was calling that there's a time to go long, right? And we have all more rights to go long over there. And let me tell you why. If you take a Fibonacci put on the beginning and the end of this impulse, like this, right? We have have a correction from 0.3 to 0.6 like this right so this is the zone of high attention I would say and as you can see price entered into this zone and we have some kind of reaction uh, what does it mean zone of high attention means we are expecting the impulse right impulse correction and impulse so basically a target zone is that where we are expecting the correction uh, to be finished right and exactly this is the zone usually it's from 0.3 to 0.7 but a 0.7 happens very seldom so this is why our target zone is 0.3 to 0.6 and just keep in mind that price can fall even to 0.3 so basically, as we had this bounce here, we have all moral rights to enter the longs and some of my community members did, right? And our target is at least the higher range of this channel. So somewhere over there, right? So uh, that scenario is still not invalid. Yes, there's a chance that we can go even lower right now and our stop loss can hit, but it is okay. It is fine because the target zone, it's not necessarily means as we touch it straightly, we will go to like that, right? We can trade here several times, right? We do something such kind of, and after we go higher, or maybe straightly from here we will go to the, to the higher higher range, right? So that no one knows, 
right? Currently, what we are seeing that this is actually looks like beautiful impulse, right? So we have all more rights to treat that they're going to be the continuation, and at least we're going to touch the higher range, right? And this is what you need to keep in mind. But same time, because this is why I said previously that lower your risk when you trade this scenario, because uh, we just retest 0.3, 2.5. Let me mark the area for you to be more simple. So from 0.3, 2. 6 and from 0 0.5 to 0.6, this is the most likely where the prices come. So as you can see, we didn't retest important area of, of 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So this is why we can expect much more lower prices. But same time, uh, we have moral rights to enter some longs because minimum levels we retested. We saw enough confirmations over there, such a divergence between price and volumes, the structure ABC, right? And target zone enters as well. Some fractal uh, confirmations as well on the smaller time frame and candle uh, MFI combination as well, we have that confirmation. So for most of you, I know that uh, right now I'm, I'm telling you some, some conditions which one might be completely not understandable for you, but some of them I'm teaching you for free completely in my uh, YouTube channel so you can enter in our description below. You can see there, there's analysis, uh, educational videos, and some several really useful tools which you can use in your trading. So basically, uh, here we saw enough confirmation. So this is why I called it here gonna be some bounce. We don't know what kind of bounce it's gonna be, or it's gonna be like this, or it's gonna be like maybe we retest once ago, got higher, or maybe it's just a small bottom and after we go uh, small um, bounce and we can go lower. But, um, this one is no one knows. You need to understand. No one knows about that. So this is why you took some you took some risk over there, right? Your stop loss pretty tiny. Your take profits is pretty long. So you are uh, you are sitting really well. Sorry. So uh, currently, I cannot tell you. No one knows what is going to happen over here. But on a smaller time frame, what we are seeing, we are seeing actually impulsive, beautiful reaction. You can see over here that the price is increases, right? And uh, volumes follows as well. You can see the volumes increases as well. So basically, this is harmonious market moves, which actually confirms that this is the impulse. And we have all more rise to actually waiting another impulse. So what we are seeing, impulse, again, correction, and right now might be some kind of impulse, might be not, maybe we will enter once again in the lower, I mean, in some kind of much more lower prices, right? Because the 0 0.5, 0 0.6 area is still in play. It's 59 to $57,000. So this is why I repeated several times that you need to uh, manage your risks because sometimes the market requires you to re-enter the position several times and you need to survive. So basically, if you're trading, like and if you make some here, uh, you, you want to trade these bonds to, towards there, right? And you trade with 100% of your deposit, God bless you, never do such kind of thing just uh, if you're done right like 150 percent 25 percent of your deposit in each trade right of course maybe uh you will be washed out several times over there and when it's gonna be a really good time again to re-enter the, the 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 market you probably will lose all money so this is why it's important to use from one to five percent of your deposit that's a maximum and you can survive because if your stop loss will hit you will just lost a, a little bit and you will have a enough power and enough money right to re-enter position when the market will make harmonious a b c and after beginning of the impulse and you will take all your losses and plus profit this is how it works so this is why it's important that you do the proper risk management when you enter the trade. Do you understand? Because no one knows this target zone. Yes, it is the uh, most likely prices works like that, that we're going to uh, uh, go higher, right? But we don't know. First of all, will we bounce from this area? There's a chance as well. We're going to break out, break out and not going to have a bounce and we will fall and maybe there's going to be another already uh, in another scenario that we are retesting the lower prices, like maybe $49,000 and lower. So this is why. Uh, do the proper risk management when it comes to trading and everything going to be fine because if right now in some case if something will happen and we will fall again into this target zone, right? And we 
we're not going to have enough confirmations here, right? Then there's a chance that we will take some shorts and maybe the price is going to go lower. But before that happens, there's nothing uh, to be panic off, right? I know that most of the people right now is texting me, oh, that's all, this scenario is invalid. No, nothing is invalid. Everything goes according to plan. Just uh, use the stop loss, do the proper risk management and everything going to be fine, right? Because right now is the time actually when the Bitcoin might have some kind of bounce and maybe we will break it and at least we will test the higher range of this channel. So if you like my content, if you like the way how I look at the market, subscribe to this channel, press that likes, join our Telegram channel. I'm going to repeat it a thousand times because here's a, a lot of bunch of uh, really useful content for each one of you who's learning the financial markets, trading and do all of this crazy good stuff. As well, I'm going to have a really great tournament, which one I want to enjoy which, uh, with each one of you. So join our Telegram channel. Soon I'm going to announce the requirements, what what you need and how to join it actually. So here I actually said that uh, some, some of them you can read. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next and bye bye.